Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. This video, uh, I know, will be demonetized because of what I'm going to speak. It's primarily on uh, the India Hindu versus Muslims, uh, you know, debacle that is taking place, including my views on the, you know, the Citizenship Amendment Act and this registration crap that is there. So. Uh, put your comments. I, you know me. I, I never censor your comments. So and let me know your thoughts. If what you think I'm saying is right or wrong. Now, right now in India, almost uh, every day there is some update, news link, video with regards to the Hindu-Muslim communal violence. Okay. Uh, and it all stemmed from the Citizenship Amendment Act. Ever since that act has been brought out, you're talking of uh, Hindus and Muslims fighting with each other. Now, for example, um, the latest one is a bunch of uh, idiots climb up this mosque, you know, Minaret, and uh, there is that symbol. Uh, that Muslims have, you know, the half moon or quarter moon with the star, uh, whatever. So this guy climbs up, he breaks off the top and plants a flag, orange flag, which is, I don't know, the Hanuman flag or the Hindu flag or whatever, okay? And uh, then if you check, check subsequent uh, videos or articles, there is one where an imam of a mosque, priest, who calls to prayer, they are thrown acid on his face. Then another one where uh, this was shared quite openly. The a guy, you know, curled up, and people beating him and blood coming out. In fact, I've seen many other videos where, actual, huh, a guy lying on the ground, bloodied. And this guy uh, taking his fist and smashing into his face. And he's already unconscious, I'm bleeding and smashing and smashing and hitting. And blood is still coming out and he's beating and he is like, oh, he's powerful. And then there is this latest uh, update that I got this morning was... Um, this boy who is with special needs, he was going to buy milk and bread for his father. And uh, he got shot or someone killed him. Okay. Now, why are we doing this? Why are we, you know, why are we encouraging this? I know you would say that, oh, I abhor violence. Uh, okay, but what are you doing about it? You're just remaining quiet, right? It's a, such a shame. You know? It's such a shame. It's a shame for all Indians. It's a shame to be an Indian. It's a shame to tell anyone that I'm from India. In fact, I, I used to always tell people, I, I really do not want my family or my, especially my daughter uh, to go to India because, I, you know, Guys in India who have never seen a girl or where it's restrictive, when they look at a girl, they're like, they just, just, they look at a girl as if she's a sexual object. I mean, you don't need any evidence to this. You, if you see any, any, any girl going to a mall, a mela or a mob gathering, guys gather around, grope the girl and touch and grab. And it's not just India, it's most of these third world countries like Pakistan and Bangladesh and you know see countries like Afghanistan even 
uh, all these countries where they make it restrictive. When they see a woman, they, they don't know what to do or how to act or how to behave. So now, that is a totally different story. But for now, the, the fact of what is happening, is it good? Is it right? And if you have any doubts, I just want you to put yourself in the place of that, that family and ask yourself, if something like this happened to your child, if something like this happened to your daughter or to your son, would it be okay? What the fuck is wrong with people, man? What the fuck is wrong with people? Why? Just uh, for a minute, I just want you to look at your, at your brother, at your sister, at your father, at your mother and say, what if somebody killed them? What if someone threw acid on their face? What if someone, uh, you know, what if you saw your own loved one right in front of you and the person's dead? How would you feel? Where, where is our sense of humanity? I, I personally know people who are amazing human beings whom I've always respected and they go around saying that, oh, uh, you know, they deserve to die. No, if he's a criminal, if he's a pedophile, I can understand. These are normal civilians, man. What the fuck is going on here? Why are you guys doing this? I, I, it's, it's really sad. It's really sad what is happening to India. It's, it's not just sad, it's... Look, I... I am I'm a guy who speaks against any kind of religious uh, stupidity, okay? I've not shied away from speaking against stoning of women, against hardcore Islamic ru uh, you know, uh, rules like, okay, gays should be stoned to death or uh, you cannot live. Uh, I'm not gay. I'm not LGBT. I'm not, you know, from the qu uh, queer community. I don't live that lifestyle like gender reassignment surgery and all that. I'm not into it. But that doesn't mean I hate them. That doesn't mean I'll be like, you know, wish wishing them to die or something like that. In Thailand, there are lady boys, girls, guys who have breasts and a penis. And many of them offer sexual services. When I see them, I, I wish them, I greet them. They're human beings. Agreed, the choice of lifestyle is maybe not what I would want. But would I want them to die? Would I want them to suffer? Now, it's I see these posts which are on Facebook. Oh, they deserved it. But, you know, I immediately... I just, I don't argue, I don't debate with these people. I just block and delete them. I don't need such people. I don't need to be in touch with such people. Even in my groups. If I find anyone who is happy that someone's family member died, an, a civilian, an ordinary civilian. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested to be in touch with you. I do speak against religious extremism, be it Islam, be it Christianity. See, in Christianity, the uh, pedophile priests, the sexual crimes against children. I'm totally fucking against it. Those people should be jailed forever. Pedophiles who rape children and they should be castrated. The ball should be cut off. They should not have them. So they would never, never, never ever harm any uh, child. Yes, that is acceptable. But for some ordinary person, okay, they're protesting. They're protesting, they're blocking the streets. Well, that is because India is a democracy. They have put these in the rules that you have a right to protest. And if that is not a right, then make a rule and say it's not allowed to protest. Fine. But you are allowing people, you're giving them the right to protest. And then you physically harm them. You know, this, this video of this guy taking a gun and shooting. What the fuck is that, yeah? In the name of religion, oh, Bol J, what? J Sri Ram, Bol J Hanuma. Yeah, you forcing people to say it gives glory to which in God, man. What? 
You say, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. You take a gun and say that. Oh, so you feel great about it? Your, your God up there. Yes, 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 good. Put a gun to his head, uh, to his baby's head and make him say, Jai me, Jai me. I'm great. What kind of kin God is that? What fucking nonsense. You know, you want to practice. What is religion? Religion is you practice your faith. You do good for yourself, for your family. You do good for the poor. You help other people. That is religion. You do good. Not, hey, you convert, convert to my religion. Come, come, come. Bigger group. We have a bigger gang. Oh, yes, we are great. That is not, uh, that is uh, mob mentality. That is fucking gang violence. You know, I'm an atheist, okay? My wife is a Buddhist. She has, uh, lately what she did is, she has, um, you know, in my house there was no idols and uh, statues and all that. Lately what she has done is taken a, uh, a part of my library, she removed the books. She actually kept it hidden first, okay? She put a tray and she put some statues and some stones. She, you know, she even has, I think, Ganpati... The statue, the elephant god, okay? Uh, she has, I think, I don't know which Hindu god that is, but she has two, three Hindu gods. And she keeps them there, and she has Buddha, and she prays, okay? And my baby also prays. Now, I didn't know this was happening. I used to always sit to do my work. One day when I suddenly came out, my wife thought I was sleeping or something. I saw she was praying, and my baby was praying, okay? She was making my baby pray. Saying, okay, pray like this, hold your hand like this. The minute she saw that, she got afraid. And I could see that she got afraid and she stopped. I, I said, okay, okay, sorry. You know? Uh, so I went back. She was confused. And uh, then the uh, another time when I was, you know, I didn't address it. I didn't think much about it. The other time when I was sitting down and I was playing music, you know, I listened to music loudly. I was doing work. When I came out, I again saw my wife praying, okay, with the baby. And my music was pretty loud. She didn't tell me that she was praying nothing and she didn't ask me to lower the music. I went, put the music low and, uh, you know, I let her pray. I closed the door. I was doing my work. Then after she came in, she apologized. She said, sorry, I disturbed your work. And I said, sorry for what? I said, you were praying and uh, it's not right that, you know, I play music when you're praying. So you finish your prayer. When you finished, uh, now I can play the music. She said, no, no, I know you don't believe in God. I said, I don't believe. That doesn't mean, you know, I force you to believe or not believe. You do what you want, you know. So I'm okay. She, she said, are you angry that I'm teaching my child? I said, no, I want you to teach the child how to be Thai, how to pray to the monks and to go to the temple and do all those normal things. I don't want you to make her an atheist or something. I said, uh, she said then, uh, if uh, baby becomes, like she prays to Buddha, I said, that's that's fine with me. So if she asks you, I said, if she asks me, I'll tell her what I do, but I'll tell her to choose. But for now, until she is, she's 18 or 20, I will tell her to continue praying because that is what she has to. I don't want a small child to be a rebel and say, no, I'm not going to pray. I'm not no, obedience is required. So, and then, uh, you know, I was telling you that my wife made this small tray where she kept these God statues. She had actually kept it hidden behind a library of books because she thought I would take it and throw it out or something. What I did is I gave her space. I said, no, make this. We can buy a nice altar if you want, a nice place to pray. We can buy and you can keep and put your incense and, you know. But she said she doesn't want that. I told her, I'm perfectly okay with that. You can keep, you can pray. I am, you know, I'm not a guy. I'm going to break those statues. Keep. So she opted for taking one space, small space in among my books, right at the top, where she can keep the altar, remove and pray. So that's what I allowed my wife to do. I don't see it a big deal. I really do not see it as a big deal. Okay, I'm not going to, you know, join her for prayers, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to stop her from praying. 
I'm not going to make life difficult. Like when she's praying, music is on. Music should be switched off. It's respect. It's love. If I'm playing music and I see somebody else praying, I will switch it off. If I see a monk, I will give them the respect that they deserve because I'm in their country. I need to respect. I don't lose anything by being respectful. When I go to the temple with my wife, if she asks me to bow, I'll bow. I may not believe, I'll bow. What do I lose by bowing? What do I lose if my wife says, burn an incense, pray to Buddha, just one minute, five minutes? What do I lose? You, we need religious tolerance. We need to accept other human beings. We need to love other people. And if you cannot love, at least do not fucking hate. What do you get by pouring acid, by killing a person, by taking a gun and shooting? What the fuck do you get? You think you're so fucking brave? Jump into a fucking ring with a fighter, man. Either hit him and let him hit you. Then we'll see what kind of fucking man you are. Taking a fucking gun and, you know, waving at an unarmed crowd. That is fucking brave. Eh, fuck all that, man. You know, what kind of fucked up religion is one where you take a stone and you're smashing into, into a face of a person who's lying down with blood and you're smashing that stone on the person's face and saying, Bol Jai Shri Ram, Bol Jai Hanuman. Isn't that as same as taking a stone, a woman put half in the ground and saying Allah Akbar and throwing that stone on her and killing her? Isn't that the same? What kind of savage religions or religious practices are these? You know, the real educated, the real spiritual Hindu, Muslim, Christian will be the one who loves. Will be the one who does good. Okay, even if you're not holy, poly, like you don't want to be Mother Teresa, at least don't harm anyone. You know, India used to be a place where you say Namaste, where you uh, welcome people and you respect people. You know, the Namaste is a sign of respect. What the fuck happened to all this? Seriously, what the fuck happened to all this? You know, I straight away on Facebook, if I see any fucking retard who is happy with this, I fucking delete him, block him. Fuck off, man. I don't need you. If you're so happy about uh, a civilian, a, a normal human being, okay, if he's a criminal, he has taken gun, he has shot people, he has harmed people, he's a terrorist, fuck. Fine. A uh, harmless human being, a family person, a child. She fucking animals, man. I hate such religions. I hate such religious practices. I hate such religious, not religious, these animals. Even animals are better. The real Hindu religion, the real one, is one that talks about love that accepts other religions. The real Islam is one that serves and gives to others. Religion is a private belief, a private belief of doing good to yourself, to your family, to others. It should be used as a means to love and do good to others. If nothing else, at least use religion to look into yourself and ask, am I a good human being? Am I taking care of others? Am I doing good to others? Focus on self-growth. That to me is religion. Not this fucking putting a flag. What the fuck you did by putting a flag? What the fuck did you do? You showed you how great you are. Fucking someone will take the flag and throw it, stamp on it, spit on it and put it back. What did you achieve by doing that? Showing how oh, high and mighty you are? It did what? Instead, I, I, I get a feeling of joy when I see a Hindu and Muslim holding hands and praying and Muslims, you know, standing and allowing Hindus to pray. Hindus standing and allow Muslims to pray. Christians, Muslims, Hindus all praying together. That to me is beautiful. It's a shame what has happened to him. It's a shame. It's a shame. And it's unfortunate that in India, actors, actresses, they cannot speak against the Citizenship Amendment Act, against all this religion, religious violence. Because 
the mob mentality they are fucking uneducated and they'll end up burning their house or damaging them so out of fear people keep quiet what can you do they'll harm their children they'll harm their loved ones so these are my thoughts guys these are my thoughts let me know what do you think guys it's so sad it's so sad to see a political agenda to fuel fear just for personal growth it's a shame it's sad and it's a really really unfortunate thing to happen to india a country like india and i'm ashamed to say that i come from this india where rape is rampant Uh, and please stop your fucking justification oh more rapes take place in us oh that's why it, that, that's why it's okay that's why it's fucking okay how many people you think talk about rape in india they are fucking scared for them you know in india if you're raped it's a matter of shame for you because you'll not get married you'll not have anyone who look at you that's why people keep quiet that's why people don't talk about rape So shut the fuck up, you know. Oh, more rape takes place in the US. So is it okay? What a fucking argument. What a fucking reasoning. Oh, more rape takes place in the US. So it's okay, I guess, huh? Fucked up. I'm ashamed to call myself an Indian. I'm ashamed to, you know, say that I come from such an India where this rape culture is rampant where and even for that matter even women women are no fucking saints there are some who are taking fucking advantage any guy they want to take revenge or oh, he rape me and the poor guy's life is destroyed it's fucking chaos man and now this religious violence i have no i have no issues whether modi is in power or uh, rahul gandhi is in power or that uh, what kejriwal guy i don't know any of their policies personally speaking i see modi as a more dynamic leader Okay, agreed. I don't agree with his policies, but he is dynamic. He is doing something. Out of all the leaders, at least he is going globally. He is doing something. But these policies, this strategy, I'm sorry, I, I don't like it. So these are my thoughts, guys. These are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. And please, I request you, please, you know, stop this. Just stop the violence. bring a little bit of uh, you know my heart breaks when i see that mother holding a holding you know just clenching her fist and hitting her heart and saying uh, you know with pain i can't understand the language but she's in so much pain you know seeing a small boy a small girl died her husband their lives are destroyed no you know i think if my if i die who will be there for my wife who will be there for my baby you think think the same way anyway let me know your thoughts guys i this is this is all i have to say let me know your thoughts is this right is this wrong anyway take care